Hello, Alfonso. It is evaluation day, so here we are. Two watches, 6139 and a 7002. Well, where are we going to start? Uh, this time grapher is set for 6139, so let's see what's up. Let's see what the movement, well, let's see what the things tell us. It's definitely had some moisture inside. I haven't actually looked closely at the dial. Let's see. We got some beat air. Hey, here we go. Yeah, one seventy one seems to be holding. That's not bad. That's not bad. I expect that number to drop again when it gets a clean read on it. It's sort of cleaning up a little bit. Hmm. Okay, well, let's look at the 7002. Uh, let's see. 53. Let's see what the 7002 is doing. Always interesting to see what an unrestored 7002 will do for us. Ooh, lots of beat air. Way out of adjustment. <laughs> Look at that. Wow, holy cow. Somebody must have been fiddling with the balance. Holy cow. Even that with that much beat error. Look at that. Look at the number that I'm getting. Goodness gracious. Jeez, oh, Pete. That's a lot of beat error. Um, but the amplitude is still decent. Yeah, you know, that's the 7002. They will run, continue to run, and run well under some pretty funky conditions. Uh, let's see. The movement doesn't look bad. The metal looks pretty bright. Uh, let's look at those adjust. Come on. Come on. Move out of the way for me. Let's go. Somebody's been playing with the balance. But it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look like they damaged anything. Everything's there and intact. Uh, let's look at the front. Hey, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Original. That's stuck. That's glued in place. That's no big deal. I can get that off. But look at the dial on the hands. Oh, it's a transitional, too. Oh, cool. So this is the later kind. It's a, it's a 702 When was this one made? Yeah, 1996. April 96. When the last since your chapter ring is jacked up. Most of the markings are missing. I wonder how that happened. I do have a replacement chapter ring uh, with better marks. That might be a good idea. Yeah, after service, this will be fine. Probably perfectly fine. If it were mine, service seals. Uh, crystal's got a few hits to it, but not bad. I mean, crystals are cheap enough. What the heck? I mean, it's going to have to come out anyway. I mean, the crystal's got to come out for the case rebuild, so why not? Uh, I would replace the chapter ring. Because these, if these marks are peeling off, then they, they don't just peel off and vanish into the air. They, they go around into the movement, so we need to get rid of them. Uh, okay. 6139. Well, I've seen worse. It's definitely hazy. Gosh, and a lot of wear along this bridge here. Fair amount of wear to lower mainspring arbor port too. Um, it needs love. It needs love. Case isn't bad. October 1971. Somebody wasn't super careful with this. It's got pecs and picks all over the case. Why is there? The hands are nice and bright. Dial loom's a little grayed out. Come on, what's up with that day wheel? Okay, the, the day wheel has spun on its star disc. So that, I'm going to have to index that over. I'm going to have to repair the day wheel. Uh, the dial is actually pretty clean. Pity about the dial loom being grayed out, but that's not bad. The hand, the chronograph hands are pretty. And the chapter ring's all misaligned. It's upside down. I wonder why somebody was in here fiddling.
French English day wheel. I think I believe Mercury. I mean, it's got good case brushing. Gosh, this was a really nice watch. And then somebody, whoever the original owner was, wasn't real careful. It's like he kept in his keys with little rocks or something. I mean, not really, literally, but that's what it looks like. All these pecs and scrapes. But the watch itself is decent. I think after service, it'll look great. It's just going to need all the things. They're going to need all the things. You had talked about splitting these up, doing these in separate things. Now, we can do that or I can put them together. It's up to you. You let me know. Okay, thank you.